Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be simplifying an algebraic expression. We have a plus b plus c cubed minus a cubed minus b cubed minus c cubed and all of that is divided by the product a plus b times a plus c times b plus c. So let's go ahead and factor the numerator and then we're going to simplify after that. So to simplify the numerator I'm gonna go ahead and treat these two terms as a difference of two cubes. As you know, x cubed minus y cubed can be written as x minus y multiplied by x squared plus xy plus y squared. So using that formula, we can go ahead and write this as a plus b plus c minus a. First we subtract the terms. And then there's multiplied by the first term, which is x squared plus x times y, which is a plus b plus c times a plus b, uh, y squared, which is a squared. So that's going to give us the first part. Let's go ahead and take care of this. And we're going to include that later because it's not going to fit. So here, a cancels out. We end up with b plus c. And then let's go ahead and simplify this expression right here. If you go ahead and expand it, we're going to get a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 2ab plus 2 ac plus 2bc and then we're going to get a times a if you distribute a squared plus ab plus ac a squared plus ab plus ac and then finally we're going to get another a squared okay we still have to include minus b cubed minus c cubed don't forget that so this gives us the following b plus c multiply by now we have a squared plus a squared plus a squared, so that is 3a squared. And then we only have the b squared once, so let's go ahead and write it that way, b squared plus c squared, those are the squares, and then we have the 2ab plus the ab, which gives us 3ab, and then we have the ac plus ac, 2ac plus ac, which is 3ac, and then we only have 2bc, don't worry about it, it'll be figured out later. Okay, so we have the 3 of ab and ac, but only 2bc. Now from this product, obviously we want to subtract b cubed plus c cubed. So it's going to look like this. We're going to write the same expression, pretty much. 3a squared plus b squared plus c squared plus 3ab plus 3ac plus 2bc. And now from here we're going to subtract minus b cubed plus c cubed. And to factor b cubed plus c cubed, we're going to write it as sum of two cubes because this is equivalent to the opposite of b cubed plus c cubed, right? So we're going to factor this using sum of two cubes. And that's going to be the following, b plus c times b squared minus bc plus c squared. Now we do have b, c, b plus c in common, so we can go ahead and take it out. And then the rest is going to give us the following. 3a squared is just going to stay, plus b squared plus c squared plus 3ab. I'm just going to copy that, 3ac plus 2bc minus b squared plus bc minus c squared. Again, this is just the numerator. We're going to simplify it first and then divide by the denominator. Okay, great. Now notice that b squared cancels out and c squared cancels out. And remember we had 2bc, everyone, everything else was 3. Now we got the same pattern here, plus bc is going to give us 3bc. So here's what the numerator looks like after all these simplifications. b plus c multiply by 3a squared plus 3ab plus 3ac plus 3bc. Great. Does that look good? Okay. But we're going to make it better. First of all, notice that all these terms have 3 in common. So we can take that out. So it's going to look like this. And then the rest can be factored by grouping. How do we make our groups? We're going to make two groups, these two and these two. And now we can write it as 3 times b plus c. And then now these two terms have a in common. And these two terms have c in common. And now we have a plus b as a common factor. So we can take out a plus b. And that gives us times a plus c. And we already have 3 times b plus c. So that's our numerator. And let's go ahead and write the whole thing. And then we'll put it together. Now remember the original expression was like this. a plus b plus c cubed 
minus a cubed minus b cubed minus c cubed and that was our numerator and we simplified it and now we divided it by a plus b a plus c and b plus c now the numerator was simplified that is our numerator so we're going to copy that three times b plus c times a plus b times a plus c and the denominator just stays the same so we're just going to copy that a plus b a plus C and B plus C and as you can see from here you can see from here that pretty much everything cancels out except for the 3 so this expression in the simplest form is equivalent to 3 obviously you can also replace ABC with numbers there's other ways to do it but this brings us to the end of this video thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe I'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye